Yeah, so the PERT program is an exciting initiative that we started at Amita Health within the past couple of years. Uh, PERT stands for Pulmonary Embolism Response Team. So a pulmonary embolism is a dangerous and potentially life-threatening blood clot that travels up to the lungs. Um, a lot of famous people have been diagnosed with this. Serena Williams, for example, was diagnosed with a blood clot um, that traveled up to the lungs uh, when she was at a tournament at an international uh, contest. And um, even Chris Bosh, an NBA basketball player. So these things are uh, not only common, about a million people are diagnosed with some form of a venous blood clot throughout the U.S. per year. Now, the pulmonary embolism response team is essentially a multidisciplinary approach where we utilize expert opinions from cardiac surgery, interventional cardiology, ER physicians, and pulmonary and intensive care doctors to figure out what's the right approach to identify and to treat these patients. Most patients who come in with a pulmonary blood clot can be treated effectively with a medication that they take in a pill version. They typically get better within a few days. And the key there is to make sure that we identify what caused it and it doesn't happen again. What the PERT team also does is it identifies the higher risk patients, the patients who come in with a significant blood clot that's impacting their ability to circulate blood, to maintain a blood pressure, to breathe well, and to maintain oxygen saturations. Those are patients, again, where the typical treatments that we had used previously in the last 10 to 30 years uh, may not be aggressive enough to effectively um, help them out. So for example, there's treatment options that we have to infuse a clot dissolver directly into the blood clot in the legs through a minimally invasive procedure that can often um, dissolve the clot to a quicker extent and often allows the patient to feel better much sooner than they otherwise would. It may also prevent some long-term sequelae. So a lot of patients with pulmonary embolism uh, can have long-term shortness of breath and things like of that nature. And so these more aggressive treatment options in the right population may help to potentially ameliorate those long-term side effects. We also identify patients who are in a life-threatening situation with the pulmonary embolism who need even more advanced therapies. So this would be an example for a patient who came in and despite the initial treatment with a clot dissolver, uh, continue to remain sick. And this is where our surgical input is very helpful. Having a surgeon who could retrieve the clot surgically through a process called an embolectomy. Um, having support devices, so we have something called ECMO here, Alexian Brothers and Amita Health, which essentially is a hemodynamic support that basically offloads the stress on the heart and the lungs for the body and allows it to kind of recoup in the coming days um, through uh, the support of the ECMO um, um, machine. So these are all things that we kind of have at our um, um, armamentarium, so to speak. But the most important thing with the PER program, I think, is identifying the patients who are at higher risk of long-term and short-term side effects and then being able to effectively treat them. So I was actually um, at Mass General for my training for interventional cardiology and vascular medicine, and they pioneered the PERT program earlier this decade. And really it's taking off. There's hundreds of sites now throughout uh, the U.S. that are really um, understanding that a multidisciplinary approach and shared decision making with patients really helps to improve quality and outcomes. And I believe with the PERT program, we're actually the first um, in the Northwest community uh, to have this pulmonary embolism response team uh, that can really help to better coordinate care and ultimately um, help patients with their long-term uh, prognosis. What was exciting about the PERT team was that this truly was a hospital initiative. This, the main focus here was for the safety of patients to better identify significant PEs and to better uh, improve their short and long-term prognosis. Um, and this is, again was something that was pioneered relatively recently within the past decade. Um, it started uh, at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston and now they actually have consortiums throughout the country talking about, listen, this is a life-threatening diagnosis that really requires hospital systems to invest resources and personnel to better identify and, and treat our patients. And so, um, for example, within the Alexian network in Amida, we started the pulmonary embolism response team within the past year, and we've had almost 100 patients that we've been able to treat. And I think luckily their, their long-term outcomes are gonna hopefully have been improved by the hospital and, and our personnel really taking the initiative uh, and moving it forward.